welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have one of my favorite videos to film it is an Amazon haul last Amazon haul that I did I mentioned that I'm quite often on Amazon that's not changed so I have an accumulation of a few different things quite a few things from Amazon mostly homeware related I do actually have quite a few pet items that I've bought recently which I thought I might include might as well include within this video but I'll save them till the end of this video because obviously I appreciate not everyone has a pet and fashion I have a video coming up very soon it's probably going to be my next video and before I jump into showing you what I have picked up from Amazon I just wanted to firstly thank today's video sponsor which is Ana Luisa you guys know I work with Ana Luisa on a regular basis I love them so much they're an amazing jewelry brand I have some new pieces which I thought I would share with you and and also tell you guys about a sale that they are currently running on their website. So if you don't know, Ana Luisa is a jewellery brand which is uh, sustainable, really affordable, but like great quality as well. There's no compromising on the quality when it comes to the price point from about $39 prices start. So they make really nice gifts as well. I'd say dollars because they are based in the US, even though they obviously ship internationally. They do have a Mother's Day sale running currently. I know here in the UK, we've had Mother's Day, but for uh, Americans, they're still yet to celebrate. So sales have already started. They started on the 12th. There's no discount codes or anything needed. All you need to simply do is click via the link in my description box to shop through to their website. And the discounts are 15% off all products. If you are based in the US and are looking for a Mother's Day gift, then in order to get it in time for your Mother's Day, you do have to order it by May the 5th. So I have chosen three items. This is how the items arrive. I actually keep these pouches and just keep the jewelry protected in them. So I picked up two rings and a necklace. The first ring that I got is like a real minimal, dainty kind of just super simple band. And I got to layer with that this one, which is very simple. Yet again, it actually really complements the other one really nicely. The fact that this is an open band one as well just gives you a slight bit more flexibility when choosing the size and then in this cute little box is the last item that I got which is like I said a necklace this is 14 karat gold plated and this is where the quality comes into play with Ana Luisa you don't get any kind of tarnishing so I'm actually just going to pop this necklace on why not hey and then I'm going to layer up the rings one on a ring finger and this one actually I think works really nicely as a almost midi so big thank you to Ana Luisa for very kindly sponsoring today's video. I love my new pieces and if you want to get any yourself, be sure to check out the link in the description box and save 15% off with their Mother's Day sale. And now let's get into the Amazon haul. Okay, this first item that I picked up is the most expensive, but it's also the one I was most excited for. It did come from America, I believe, so the shipping was a little longer. I think it was around a week they are a set of three book style edition games i love my games i love my puzzles i'm thinking um in future once we've renovated and have a dining room i'm thinking of having shelves to style up and i would love to have them maybe on there clue which like i said because it's coming from america this is basically cluedo monopoly and scrabble and i had a quick look at what they look like on the inside and the monopoly one was really interesting because it's not the standard uk edition it's obviously us based so all the um names and places and everything are different so yeah, these are, if you did want to find them, I'll try and leave everything linked below, but Vintage Bookshelf Edition Monopoly. I don't know why the UK don't do these themselves. So you just open it up. They have the rules. They have all of the game board in there and the pieces all packed away nicely into this book style edition. I think the Scrabble one is my favourite in terms of the colour. I just love the aesthetic of that kind of real neutral linen finish with the grey, light grey scrabble. I just love these, honestly, I think they're amazing. So I, like I said, love my games and these did cost £100 or thereabouts, maybe just a little bit less. But you can buy them individually, you don't have to buy all three. I did just buy them as a set of three, which I think made it a little bit cheaper. And I think the price point, to be honest with you, is mostly because they're coming from America. So UK game 
people get on this and definitely create them for the UK versions because um, I think they would sell really well. Next up, I picked up a linen photo album. I wanted to just get the one for now to maybe see how I like it and maybe purchase more to have them matching and again displayed on some kind of a bookshelf in future. Now, this came like this. So again, I think this would make a lovely gift, the fact that it comes in this really nice box, even though it's from Amazon. So inside, you have the actual linen um, book photo album itself and then they do also include like some stickers and like a gold pen as well this was 16 pounds which i think for a linen photo album is pretty reasonable and the binder on this one i really liked there were several different types of linen photo albums but i really liked this design there's something nice about getting a good old photo album out for, in my opinion anyway it's really like a nostalgic thing as opposed to just showing people pictures on your iphone I just, I really like that. I'm also wanting to get my hands on some new office wear for storage of paperwork and all sorts. And I spotted these on Amazon. They're like a white ring binder and they're really good quality. They're nice and sturdy and would look good either if you've got some kind of office shelving on display, but also tucked away nicely and neatly. You could label them up. They're just super easy simple i think these were five pounds each so i picked up the one for now just to make sure i like it initially i'm going to start uh using this as a file to document the house renovation with any kind of receipts expenses everything that we have for the property i'm probably going to end up having to buy a few of these because it's a big project okay next thing that i've got again really handy for now in the kind of renovation process is to stock up on some storage bags these are great for right now especially when we're moving things here there and everywhere like we had to move downstairs we're currently living out downstairs whilst upstairs is being done and vice versa when we move just to have these storage bags to keep all of our like clothes and just bits and bobs in whilst we have no furniture it has been a lifesaver so i do already have a few and um, so i stocked up on another set of three these ones are and they're just really generously sized plain and simple white so in future i will keep these for like under bed storage um storing linens in spare towels i think these would be really handy to have and these were 21 pounds for the set so seven pounds each not too bad this has to be possibly my favorite thing from this haul other than the games and in fact this is where I got the inspiration to get those games and it is this book I first saw Amy Rose Walker here on YouTube haul this in an Amazon haul and I loved the look of it so it's just a like coffee table book so it is an american author nikki boyd creator of at home with nikki beautifully organized it's called you can tell as well with the spelling of organized a guide to function and style in your home now that picture is so aesthetically pleasing to me i cannot wait for my pantry of dreams within this book i did spot there it is the the uh games there so i've had a flick through and i actually i mean there's a lot to of like reading material in this as well which i still yet to do i've had a flick through all the pictures though this retails for 23 dollars but on amazon it's 16 pounds which is probably similar price point and yeah i just would really recommend this book for a lot of inspo and it looks really pretty too to add to the sort of game theme i did spot these wooden dominoes which again the aesthetic of these kind of as an a display where there's some like shelving that maybe if like me you wanted to get your hands on those monopoly and scrabble and cluedo these were only 3.99 as well and then i also picked myself up a set of coloring pencils so kind of in the theme of the whole games type theme i have these which are for like adult coloring books or journaling if you're into journaling the fact that it comes in a black tube i thought would again look quite nice just kind of kept out or i don't know just nice and simple they're obviously all different colors and they're all actually black these were nine pounds you get 36 in there next up i got these which i just again come quite nicely packaged so Good little gift for a home lover a home interiors lover from new living these are bread bags which keep your bread nice and fresh but they could also make quite good little totes to carry things in little shopping totes 
um, like if you're going to the market or something, buying a load of fresh fruit and veg to take these with you, I thought would be quite nice. So they're essentially a canvas style linen bag with the handles but also they are drawstring. I thought they'd look quite nice hung up in like a pantry or a utility as well. And these are only $7.99 as well for the pair. I also picked up a couple of different kitchen utensils. I think I got three in total. Um, I don't know where the other one is. But I got a bottle opener and then this is like a straight peeler I believe. And I got them all in white because again that book beautifully organised within there. There was some kitchen organisational type pictures of inside drawers, cutlery drawers. A lot of the utensils were like white handled KitchenAid ones. And I just like, I don't know, just made me want them. So yeah, I got this bottle opener. I think I got a peeler. A uh, peeler, a can opener, and then this obviously has the protective blue film on it. But then we have the white handled peeler, and these are all about three pounds each. And then one more item that I got for the kitchen, which I thought was beautiful and also really reasonably priced, was this pestle and mortar. And it's in a stone. The handle, or the is that what we call it? Pestle and mortar. Which part's the pestle, which part's the mortar? I don't know. Like a white ceramic with the inner is like a real pretty cream stone. And there you can see the tonal difference as well. So a really nice simple pestle and mortar that I thought would look quite nice out on display. And this was only eight pounds. I thought that was really reasonably priced. Before I move on to the pet related items that I've recently been purchasing, I thought I would show you this humidifier aromatherapy machine from a company called Home Affair, a company actually who I worked with in my small business's gift guide for Christmas. She very kindly reached out and offered to send me this, which is a new product of theirs. It comes with a little water dispenser and I just loved the look of this. So I'll leave her Instagram below where you can shop through and find this yourself. I think it comes in black as well. So it is just a ceramic diffuser, almost stone effect to it, a really nice grain and texture that I think will look beautiful anywhere in the house once it's renovated. I'm kind of saving it for maybe our bedroom once we've done with the first kind of phase upstairs of all the bedrooms. I think this will look nice in our bedroom. I'm so excited. Moving on to some pet things that I got. These are from just a variety of brands really that I've shopped, mostly small businesses actually, which I thought I would support. Some of which I might be on Amazon or not, I don't know, but I just thought I would include them in this video anyway. This is from a brand called New Street Designs on Instagram, and they have this puppy starter pack in this beautiful canvasy linen fabric, which I just think is adorable. So they do sell these items individually, and it even came with a little biscuit. Bonnie can have that later. So. I got a squeaky little bone toy. Might save giving him this until he's a bit older. And then we've also got a little Barney's treat bag. I love personalization on things like this. This would be great if you're looking to buy someone a gift who has a pet or who is just getting a pet. Little treat bag to take out on walks. And then this, which is a really cute little canvas bag which on the front, it kind of opens out to be quite big actually. And then on the front it says Barney's dog toys. Again, just really pretty to have all his aesthetically pleasing toys on display. Definitely not gonna be aesthetically pleasing. I mean, this one is, but the rest of them are like a chewed up mess. Oh, this one is actually from Amazon. So I'll show you this. These are about 10 pounds and they are really good for keeping your dogs interactively stimulated mentally and they're like a little toy dispenser whereby you hide the treats within them and they have to kind of figure out how to get them out oh god this is adorable this is from a girl on etsy and it's just so cute so i managed april rain she is on etsy i managed to find or not find but i guess save barney's first tooth that he that fell out. I'm so happy I got the, the first one that fell out. The rest of them he's either eaten or I've got rid of, but there were like, I think three in total I managed to find, but the first one I was like, I'm keeping this. So I've actually got like a little glass bottle with a cork lid and it's in that 
I got the glass bottle from the range. You get like a pack of six or something for a pound. And then this I ordered to put that within here to keep it nice and safe and protected. And again, it's that little kind of canvas style bag with a little Barney and a tooth and even a little paw print on there which i think is so cute then i got this from a company called bark london which is again a really like aesthetically pleasing brand all of these are to be honest with you they all jumped out to me on instagram so i put in an order so bark london do loads of different like pet leads and things and they do do uh some cream and beige tennis balls but i've got some from another brand called mongrel which i'll show you um and they also do this rubber dog toy which i thought barney would love and it's a suction one that you can actually suction that to the floor and then this is like a tug of war for them you could even because there's holes in there put some treats in within there for them to try and figure out how to get them out but even just for tug of war barney loves tug of war it's probably his favorite game slash toy is any toy that he can get he'll try and play tug of war with it with you so i thought this will mean he can play tug of war but without the need for me to be there beautiful packaging 10 percent of the profits from this lovely toy of yours has gone to the wild at heart foundation i got this for barney it is as you can tell a tennis ball in white which i know probably won't stay white for long but in his new little toy basket, it can go in there. And I, I liked this because it's specifically, obviously, a dog brand. So the fibres on this are made to be a bit more resistant than what a standard tennis ball would be. Because that is what Barney does. He just gets his teeth and, like, pulls off all the fibres. And then again in there, they also included a little thank you for shopping with us and a little dog bone. This is more for me, but suitable because I have a dog. And it's from Wild for Dogs. They do all sorts of, like, puppy shampoos, conditioners products for your dog and they start from about £3.50 but they do these candles I do think they might be sold out at the moment I don't know whether they're coming back in stock or not and then they put the little pet's name on there Barney and again this comes in a little bag and this is a candle which is suitable for pets I know certain candles if you burn them too close to pets can be um, toxic to them not good for their breathing so to be honest with you whilst we've had him as a puppy i've really not been burning many if any candles and at least not in that room on the odd occasion we've had like a little dinner date night i'll pop it on pop it on light the candle for a bit but not really to be honest with you but now that i know that this is suitable for dogs this is the first one that's going in that room and starting to be burnt tonight. It's a beautiful branding, this one. Wild for Dogs, Sniff Sniff as well, it's called this candle. Um, natural pet friendly candle, musk, rose and fur, burn hour 32 hours. Oh yeah, that is nice. That smells like I'm out on a woodland walk with him. Really, really nice that. I think that candle is about 18 pounds. Oh, I've got to include this, of course. This is from a lovely um, company called So So Good, and this has been very kind of gifted to me. Well, to Barney, really. And she creates these beautiful blankets, embroidered and personalized. So it comes in this beautiful box. <laughs> oh my God. So they have different colours available. Oh look, she's included something for me and Tom as well. So face cloths, one for with a T on for Tom and one with an F on for me. And it's a cute little pet blanket in white. Again, probably won't stay white for long or will have to be washed fairly regularly. I think you can choose the different colour embroidery and stuff, but I obviously went for the white and the gold, love. And then last but not least is a company called Pet Hamper. And this is like a crook customizable customizable create your own style hamper company that basically you can get the choose packaging and then choose the items that go in it so they do have a online shop with loads of different items treats toys all sorts and i've only got a couple of things but i thought i would just show you the concept as well more than anything because again buying gift for someone who has a pet this would be really cool and uh, i had to get one of these plush dog toys with Mutella. I think that was about nine pounds. And then I also saw that they do these hand sanitizers with a little clip on thing so you can have them out and about at 3.99 these are. 
with the branding on pet hamper i just thought this would be really handy with the little carabiner clip thing there to have on you on dog walks after you pick up the poo so yeah pick that up and obviously they have so many more products to add to the hamper if you are wanting to get a bit of a collection together i'm just looking at the mess down in front of me right now and thinking god next task is to have to clean this up and put things away but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching it thank you once again to anna louisa for very kindly sponsoring today's video if you want to get your hands on any of these items yourself or more and don't forget to check out the sale obviously 15% off currently so I'll leave the link in the description box below for you and stay tuned for my next video which will be my Amazon fashion section parts of this video which I have actually already filmed so I already know the goodies that are in that video to share with you so yes yeah, stay tuned for that subscribe for more thumbs up if you like this video and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys